my sweet friends welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel you guys saw we are going to be doing a cozy book vlog this week and i am so excited i feel like every year i look forward to october spooky season is my favorite hocus pocus is my favorite movie i am obsessed with it do i have a problem yes we're not going to talk about it and so throughout the last week i have been filming a cozy fun reading vlog or i guess not reading vlog but like doing cozy book things video and I actually guys this is so embarrassing I don't know why I do this all the time I actually already filmed this video and my intro got I don't know it wasn't deleted it was just completely blurry and out of focus and in that intro that I no longer have I was talking about how the first thing that I was going to do was get to work on my digital book journal and i designed this digital book journal it is something that i created and i was frustrated because the load speed was bad and so that is where we start i yeah didn't want to just throw you into something with no context so that is where this video begins i think that's all for me so i hope you guys enjoy this video I now officially have my little iced chai and I don't know what it is. I feel like I tend to just get fixated on different drinks at different times of the year. So if you guys were around a few months ago, you would know that I went through like a hot lemon water obsession that I would have every day at noon. Now it's iced chai and they tend to just rotate around, but I think this one is just because it's the fall season and I'm so excited. Anyway, now that I have my fun little drink, I wanted to get started on my reading journal. So like I said before, I have been designing this reading journal in Canva because a lot of the digital reading journals that I was finding online on Etsy just weren't exactly what I was looking for. And so after months, of working on this i finally finished it but again it just loads a little bit slowly because it's so big and beautiful in my opinion that's how i'm choosing to look at this and so i'll show you guys this is the spread that i have been working on i think i'll put a screenshot on here just because i feel like showing you guys the ipad isn't great i've been working on filling out my september tbr spread and then i also want to do my august pages i'm probably going to go back through and fill out most of this journal for this year just over time but i also want to keep up with what i'm working on right now so i want to finish filling out my september tbr page go through and make a mood board so we're gonna see what i get to but i think i'm just gonna put on either some like cozy fall music maybe light my fall candle and just get to working on this because it's so much fun and I wanna be a fall girly, even though it's very hot outside here in Texas, but we're gonna pretend that it's not and have fun doing my reading journal. <laughs> It's a few hours later, but I finished updating my reading journal and it's so cute. This is what I'm talking about with the load speed. I open it and we just, we get nothing. And I don't know how to fix it. It's driving me crazy. It's really driving me absolutely nuts because I don't want other people to have this problem. So because I just finished this journal, I wanted to go back and fill out some of the sections that I hadn't been able to do yet because the journal wasn't done. So I went through and I did my August wrap up. We love her. And then I did my August reflection. And then I also finished up my September TBR. And I feel like the main thing that I was excited about was this little like mood board for the month. Um, I feel like visualizing how I want my month to look is really fun so i like wrote 
in calligraphy that I want there to be candles and chai tea and audiobooks. And I got some really cute autumnal photos of like vintage classic books. And I don't know, I feel like it's just really good for my visualizing how I want my reading month to look. And then I also have my TBR, my official TBR written at the top. So I'm doing pretty good on that so far. I've read two out of the five books, but I'm in the middle of two more out of the five. And then I haven't even touched one of them, but it's fine, it's fine. And so I think honestly, what I wanna do now throughout the month is just go back through this reading journal and fill out the spreads from earlier in the year. And I like want it to be the end of September so I can fill out my September wrap up spread and my September reflection spread and update my bookshelf and all the monthly spreads. And then I'm gonna get to do the yearly spreads and it's gonna be even more fun. Oh my God, I can't wait. But I think that's gonna be it for me right now. There are definitely some other bookish things that I want to happen in this video, particularly maybe maybe some book shopping, maybe a book haul. We will see. At this point, I have no idea what video this is going in, but I wanted to document it because I'm sure it will be going in some kind of bookish vlog or reading vlog or something. But I have a book haul for you guys, which to anyone who is familiar with my channel knows that these are somewhat rare on my channel, but I've gotten my TBR down so low to the point where we're at like six books, I wanna say, that I did some half price book shopping and I also did some shopping on Tertulia recently, which by the way, if you guys want like an amazing discount, I always have their links in my description box down below. So go ahead and check them out if you're looking for new books. But I made an order from them and I don't know if this is actually all of the books, but regardless, I got some goodies and I'm so excited to show you. So without further ado, let's just get into it. I think they're all here. I'm so excited. Now this is a pretty good size box and it should fit a lot of books. Interesting thing is two of the books that I bought are giant. And if you've been keeping up with the videos, you might have an idea of what two books those are. I have currently finished the Throne of Glass series up to book five and I've been delaying reading the next books in the series because we're on the tandem read and I had not purchased the books for the tandem read yet, but I finally decided to bite the bullet. And so I got Empire of Storms by Sarah J Mass and Tower of Dawn also by Sarah J Mass. Interestingly, they feel different. Wait, that's so weird. This one is like way floppier than this one. Technically in release order, Empire of Storms comes first and then I believe Tower of Dawn came out, but I need to look up the little like system so I can switch back and forth between these books because they're happening at the exact same time. I don't honestly think I'm gonna read these until November because I already have my September TBR completely set and then October, I'm like obsessed with spooky season reading. So unless I get through my entire spooky season plans, it would seem that these will end up as October, or I'm sorry, as November reads. But these are my first two books of the video and I'm so excited. And then the next two books that I got are also in series and I'm so excited. One of them I have already read. I just read it and loved it so much that I desperately needed to own it. And then I had to complete the trilogy, obviously. The next two books and final two books that I got are Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez, which I have already read, and Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. Again, these feel different. The front of this one is much more like matted, whereas this one feels like kind of more plasticky papery. And I read this book recently and I absolutely loved it. And I just had to own the physical copy. And then I really, really want to read Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. I don't care that we're going into the fall season. I really don't. I want to understand what the hype is about. And when this book came out and everyone was giving it raving reviews, and then I learned that I had to read the rest of the series first, I did my homework. I read Part of Your World. I read Yours Truly. And now it's time to catch up to the hype and know what it's all about with this book. So I'm really, really excited that I have these now. I also own Part of Your World. So now I have the whole series and they're gonna look so cute together on my shelf. Okay, 
I'm not making this up in my head. This one is a slightly different edition, which bothers me just a little. It's fine, I'm choosing not to care. Anyway, that is my mini book haul for whatever video this ends up being in. Again, I've already read this one, so I have three books to add to my physical TBR, and I'm feeling so freaking excited. Hello, my sweet friends. It has been a day, maybe two days since I filmed for this video, but I wanted to keep the fall cozy spirit alive. And so I have a fun little haul for you guys. It's not book related, but it's very fall related. And so I thought I would just throw it into this video. I'm going to be decorating my bookshelves with some of this stuff. So if you look at it that way, it's book related, but you guys know I'm just a sucker for all the fall stuff. First things first, I did make a little Target trip and the dollar section, like the, it, let's be honest, it used to be the dollar section. Now it's like a dollar to $5 section. That little section was absolutely popping off and I could not resist when the prices were just so good. So first things first, I got a cute little, I got this cute little ghost pillow and I'm gonna put him on my little Papajin reading chair. I don't know if that's how you say that, but my cozy little reading chair. I just think he is the cutest little thing I've ever seen. And my boyfriend and I on our drive home from Target decided to name him Boo. We're very, very original. So meet Boo. He's just such a little cutie and I love him. Say hi besties. Boo will not be going on the bookshelf, but he's very, very cute and deserved a spot in this video. I love him. Then I did get two little things for my bookshelf. I first, I saw this little guy. He has bat, a bat bow tie. Can we just talk about that for a second? I don't think it's gonna focus on him, but this is ghost number two of the video and he's so cute. And the best part, I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera. He lights up. And so he's gonna go on my bookshelf. And as I was literally exiting this cute little fall Halloween section of the Target, <laughs> I saw this guy and don't they just look like besties? Like these two little Halloween cuties are definitely best friends and I couldn't leave without getting both. Do you know what I'm saying? So these two are going to be going on my bookshelf and I'm so, so excited. They were each $3 and then the Boo Ghost was $5. So in terms of Halloween decor, pretty good in terms of pricing. We'll put the besties up here for now. So that's all that I got from Target. But then I also, I don't know if I've talked about this very much on this channel, but I'm really into journaling. I love to journal and I've talked about my digital journaling, but I do physical journaling as well, just to like write about my life, my thoughts, my feelings, all that good stuff. And I use a lot of stickers. And so I was running low on my Halloween and fall stickers. So I had to replenish them, obviously. And I found these very cute vintagey Halloween stickers on Amazon. I'll show you a few. They're so cute. I don't know. They're just the cutest little vintage Halloween stickers. I don't know if I'll be able to get it to focus, but I think you get the idea. And then because I also just wanted stickers for the fall season, not just the month of October, I got another pack of just very like autumnal stickers. So these just have like fall leaves, very, I don't know. I don't have to go through the pack, but just like the cutest stickers for like September and November, you know? That's my little spooky haul. I'm gonna do some decorating, probably some journaling, set up the bookshelves. And then I think what I wanna do is I've been trying to learn how to crochet a little coaster. I want to continue crocheting my coaster. Please ignore the giant circle in the middle. I am learning. I think I want to continue crocheting this coaster and listen to my audiobook. I'm currently listening to Red Rising by Pierce Brown, and I feel like fall is often the perfect time to pick up little sci-fi cozy fantasy books and so red rising was on my tbr for the month of september so i have been listening to that book and yeah i think that's how i want to spend my saturday afternoon is decorating for fall listening to my audiobook and crocheting
Hi besties, we're vlogging on my phone right now. I did bring my camera, but I turned it on and the memory card was still at home. I literally told myself not to do that and I still did it. I still did it. But the next thing that I wanted to do in this cozy fall reading vlog is go over to Barnes & Noble. I have never been to this Barnes & Noble before. It's my first time going full price book shopping in Texas. And so I'm really excited just looking at the outside of it. It looks huge. They say that everything's bigger in Texas and everything is bigger in Texas so far. I'm not necessarily looking to buy any books. I have a good amount of books on my physical TBR, but I'm looking to get inspired. I want to see if there's any new releases, any cozy fall books, witchy books, spooky season books that I could be interested in. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, I will find some good stuff to put on hold at the library or to read on Kindle Unlimited or to just go out and buy in October. But there are a few things that I'm looking for decor wise. You guys are gonna see that in another video if I succeed. So I will see you guys in there. I'm back. <laughs> so you guys saw that I did end up going to Barnes and Noble. That place was giant. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever experienced a Barnes and Noble of that scale in my entire life. There was two floors. It was huge on both floors. There was a cafe. Honestly, I was living my book early dreams. And you guys saw, I mean, I'm like, oh, I did this, I did that, but I showed you. I did take footage when I was there and I just browsed. They had like a whole fall section, a little spooky season section. I looked at all their seasonal October spooky season books. And then you guys can see, I ended up getting these posters when I was there. I am doing like a whole video about designing my reading room. I like work from home space. And so I don't know, I've just been like slowly picking things up here and there, trying to turn this into the perfect little space. And so that is what I ended up acquiring yesterday. I did not buy any books because I kind of know, I kind of know what I want to read in October. I did just film my TBR wheel video. I got so lucky again with the books that the wheel picked. I don't know if that video is gonna be out before or after this. If it's already out, I'll link it. If it's not already out, subscribe so you guys can see that when it comes out. I think it should be out. I think that's gonna be it for me. I just real quick wanted to give a shout out to some of my lovely subscribers. First up, I wanted to give a shout out to at Kate who really enjoyed my classics book recommendation video and we were connecting over how The Grapes of Wrath is a good classic and not enough people enjoyed it. And then I also wanted to give a shout out to at Marg3157, who also really appreciated my classics book video because she is a classics lover. So thank you guys so much for commenting on my videos and being a part of this community. I am so thankful for each and every one of you. And I think that's gonna be it for me. I hope you guys are having a great day and a great reading month and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.